five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Dr. Fauci, when is the time? When is the time? Well, in your written statement, you say, now is not the time to pull back on masking, physical distancing, and avoiding congregate settings. When is the time? When do Americans get their freedom back? Can you put your microphone on, please? Sorry. When we get the level of infection in this country low enough that it is not a really high threat. What is low enough? Give me a number. What, I mean, uh, we, we've, we had 15 days to slow the spread, turned into one year of lost liberty. What metrics, what measures, what has to happen before yeah. Americans get my, their freedoms? My message, uh, Congressman Jordan, is to get as many people vaccinated as quickly as we possibly can to get the level of infection in this country low that it is no longer a threat. That is when. And I believe when that happens, you will see. What determines when? I'm sorry. What? What measure? What, I mean, are, are we just going to continue this forever? Or when, does, when, does, no. when do we get to the point? What measure, what standard, what objective uh, outcome do we have to reach before, before Americans get their liberty and freedoms back? You know, I, you're indicating liberty and freedom. I look at it as a public health measure to prevent people from dying and going to the hospital. You don't think Americans' liberties have been threatened the last year, Dr. Fauci? They've been assaulted. Their liberties have. I don't look at this as a liberty thing, Congressman Jordan. Well, that's I look obvious. At this as a public health thing. But the, uh, the, I disagree with you, you on that. You think the Constitution completely. is suspended during, it, uh, during a, a, a virus, during a pandemic? It's certainly not. This will end for sure when we get the level of infection very low. It is now at such a high level, there's a threat again of major Dr. surges. Dr. Fauci, Dr. Fauci, over the last year, Americans' First Amendment rights have been completely attacked. Your right to go to church, your right to assemble, your right to petition your government, freedom of the press, freedom of speech have all been assaulted. I mean, for a year now. Americans haven't been able to go to church. Even today, when they go to church, they're limited in the size of, 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 of worshipers who can meet. Your right to assemble? Oh, my goodness. We had a curfew last fall in Ohio. You had to be in your home at 10. In Pennsylvania, you had to be in your home. Uh, when you're in your home, you had to wear a mask. In Vermont, when you're in your home, you didn't have to wear a mask, Dr. Fauci, because you weren't allowed to have yeah. people over to your house. Yeah. Yeah, Congressman Jordan. Your ability are, to petition your government well, for a year, for a year, American citizens haven't been able to come to their capital to petition their government to talk to their representatives and freedom of the press. These very pictures that right. Representative Scalise just showed you and talked about, guess what? The press isn't allowed in those facilities. The press is not, the Biden administration will not let the press in there. And certainly freedom of speech. I mean, freedom of governor of our third largest state meets with, with physicians, and, that, and that's, that, that video is censored because they dare to agree, disagree with Dr. Fauci? So I just want to know, when do Americans get their First Amendment liberties back? Right. You know, I don't think anything was censored because they felt they couldn't disagree with me. I think you're, pers you're pers making this a personal thing, and it isn't. It's not a personal thing. No, you are. That is exactly what you're doing. No, your recommendations carry a lot of weight, Dr. Fauci. We just had the, the chair of yeah. the Financial Services Committee said she loves you, and you're the greatest thing in the world. Will My the recommendations yield? are consistent. Will the gentleman yield? No, it's my, it's my now, time. Can I answer the question, please? My recommendations are not a personal recommendation. It's based on the CDC guidance, which is which is And which I'm asking the question, what measures have to be attained before yeah. Americans get their First Amendment liberties back? I just told you that. I no, you haven't you. given anything specific. You said, we hope when this third... Tell me specifically. Right, now, have to right now, we have about 60,000 infections a day, which is a very large risk for a surge. We're not talking about liberties. We're talking about a pandemic that has killed 560,000 Americans. I, I, and That's I get that, what we're Doc, talking about. And, and I don't disagree with that. And I, and I understand how serious that is. But I also stand it's pretty serious when businesses have been shut down. People can't go to church. People can't assemble in their own homes with their friends, with their families. People can't go to a loved one's funeral. People can't get to their government, petition their representative to redress their grievances. Right. I also understand the First Amendment is pretty darn important. And it's been a year. And I want to know when right. Americans will get those First Amendment liberties right. back. Well, you just said people cannot assemble in their own homes. They can. That's a CDC recommendation for vaccination. Not last people. fall they couldn't. I'm, I didn't hear Not you. last fall they couldn't. 
I, I didn't hear what he said. The gentleman's time has expired. Um, I'll give you one instance of when we can get our liberties back. It's when 90 percent of the members I, of the United States Congress get vaccinated. Well, I want to know if that's what Dr. Fauci is. Is it 90 percent, Dr. I'm, Fauci? Is it 90 percent? That's what I'm. That, that's what I'd like to know. Give me some. Give us some objective standards versus when certain things get reached, we might be able to get back to having our liberty. When? What are the numbers? Well, You're I'm, going to see a gradual. Uh, from the right now, we're at an unacceptably high level. We're at, on a daily basis. It's unacceptably high, regardless of who you are. What you're going to see as more and more people get vaccinated, and we get over three million people a day. You're going to see the level of infection come down and down, and gradually there will be more flexibility for doing the things that you're talking Where about. Where does it get to? When it comes down, what number do we get our liberties back? Tell me the number. Tell when me the number. When 90 percent of the members of Congress get vaccinated. But you're not a doctor, Mr. Clyburn. He is. What is the number? I can't Thank give you for recognizing me, Mr. Clyburn. Thank you. He cannot recognize this uh, for five I'd minutes. I'd like my question answered. I don't, I don't want, reclaiming I don't want to Reclaiming my time. I want to reclaiming my time. Regular doctor. order. Regular order. No. Just the a moment. Mr. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, I don't want you to answer my question. The American people want Dr. Fauci to answer the well, question. What does it have to be? Time expires, sir. If you need to respect the chair and oh, shut oh. your mouth. Don't worry about this. We, we, we're going to handle this. And I think Mr. Jordan knows me very well, and he knows full well that we're going to handle this. Your time has expired, and the chair now recognizes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ms. Maloney. Uh, th thank you, Mr. Chairman, for calling this important hearing, and I thank all of their panelists for their dedication to public health and, and their being here with us today. Uh, I'd like to ask. Uh, well, first, I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Fauci for, for serving, what is it, seven presidents uh, selflessly trying to find answers? Well, thank to you, gentlemen, for yielding back. The chair now recognizes Mr. Jordan. Thank you, Mr. Five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Dr. Fauci, American citizens, uh, some of them have lost their businesses because of lockdowns imposed due to the virus, um, and who've been told for a year they can't go to church, can't go to work, can't go to school, can't go to a loved one's funeral. Um, can't go to their United States Capitol to petition their government, and if they dare speak anything that's contrary to what you've said or CDC has said, they get censored as evidenced by the governor from our third largest state just last week uh, facing that, that situation. Um, all the while, as the ranking member, Mr. Scalise, has pointed out, migrants enter the country illegally from 60 different countries. They are processed, put on a plane, paid for by the American taxpayers without getting tested, flown somewhere or bused somewhere in, in, in the country. Um, it just doesn't hardly seem fair. And so I will go back to the question I asked the first round. Can you give us a specific measurement that will have to be attained, some outcome, some result that we have to reach? so that Americans know they are going to get their liberties back um, and be able to move on with their lives. You are asking for a number. If I have a number, it would have to be my best estimate, and that would be that the number of infections per day are well below 10,000 per day. At that point and up to that point, there would be a gradual pulling back of some of the restrictions you are talking about, particularly when people are vaccinated more and more, because it is a combination of if you are vaccinated, you are protecting yourself for sure, and the more people that get vaccinated in the community, well, 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 the lower the level of infection will be. I understand. Be. I understand. Well, give us an idea. I mean, you, look, you have given us thoughts on all kinds of subjects. You have opined on all kinds of issues. Give us your best guess, then. I just did. No, you didn't. You didn't give us a time. When do you think this is going to are we going to be doing? Are we going to be here two years from now wearing masks? No, I'm, I Jim don't. Asking I Dr. Don't. Fauci the same question. Well, let, let me let me answer your ranting again. Let me no, just. I'm not ranting. Yes, you are. No, I, I, here's how it works, Dr. Fauci. Right. I get to ask you the questions. You're the highest paid official in the United States government. You've given us your advice on baseball, on dating apps, on cruise ships. You told us zero masks, one mask, two masks, now back to one mask. 
I'm just asking you, when is it going to end? You can say I'm ranting. I'm actually asking the question that the citizens I get the privilege of representing, and my name actually goes on a ballot. I don't think your name's ever been on a ballot. My name goes on a ballot. The citizens I represent want to know the answer to when they can get their liberties back. You know, you all that ranting, I actually call it standing up for the Constitution, which I take an oath to uphold, Dr. Fauci, every year, every term that I serve in this Congress representing the folks in the 4th District of Ohio. So it is not ranting, it is defending the First Amendment. Okay. And we'd like an answer, or your best guess, since yeah. you've got an answer for everything else. Well, when we get the people in this country vaccinating, the overwhelming majority of the people in the country, and we project that that will very likely be sometime in the beginning to mid of the summer. Because, as the President has said, when we get to the end of May, there will be enough vaccinations to vaccinate everybody in the country. It will de the reason I can't give you a precise number, because I'm not 100 percent sure well, how many people will want to be vaccinated. Well, That's you, what I'm saying. If you get the overwhelming number of people you in, the, gave us, in the you gave us a guess on Texas. Look at the look at the chart here. You, this is seven day average of case rate per 100,000 people. You gave us a, your guess on Texas. You said when Texas ended their lockdown, ended their mandate, that this was quote inexplicable and would lead to a would lead to a surge in cases. Texas is near the bottom of the 50 states, but all the states at the top, all the states at the top are lockdown states. So how great was that? That guess didn't seem to be too good. You, what, what explains why Texas is so darn low compared to the rest of the states? Lockdown states have a much higher case rate than the state of Texas, which is like, over a month ago now said we're not going to lock down, we're not going to have all these mandates that you say we have to have. Yeah, there's a difference between lockdown and the people obeying the lockdown. You know, you could have a, a, a situation where they say we're going to lock down. And yet you have people doing exactly what That's they want what, to is do. Is that what is happening in the top eight states in the country? They're just not, they're just not following what, what's been told? They're not listening to Dr. Fauci? Yeah, I'm sorry. You're speaking so fast. I'm not even hearing what you're saying. Well, you can look at the numbers. I can't maybe. see that. It's too far away. Okay. Well, Michigan's at 551 cases per 100,000. Texas is at 77. Wisconsin's at 109 because their state Supreme Court overruled their governor, their Republican court, and said, we're not going to have a lockdown in Wisconsin. And their numbers are five times lower than the state of Michigan, which is right next door. Gentleman, time has expired. But, Mr. Mr. Chairman, it is typical when there is a question on the table that the witness gets a chance to respond to that last question. I want to know why, I'll ask the, I'll why, ask why Wisconsin is at 109 and right next door Michigan is at 551. Michigan is locked down and Wisconsin isn't. I think the gentleman uh, answered you quite clearly. He didn't answer that. There is a big difference in being a lockdown state by order and being a state that obeys orders. <laughs> that answered the question, in my opinion. We have, and with uh, we that, obey orders in, in, in the chair. Please, 30 seconds in the remaining of my time to Mr. Jordan. Thank you. I appreciate the gentleman from New York. Real quick, because there were some comments that were brought up regarding Tucker Carlson, uh, some things that were said, but other parts of the context that were left out. So I did just want to include on Mr. Carlson's show on Wednesday, he did say, quote, wait a second, who is doubting that vaccines work? For the record, we never for a minute doubted it. He goes on to say, so when they said this stuff works, we never questioned it. So I think it's important to put that on the record as well because that was left out, I think a little bit unfairly. Yield back. Mr. Jordan. I thank the gentlelady for uh, yielding. That was that was subject I wanted to touch on. We, we just had a member, I wish he was still here, that's why I tried to ask him a question, uh, Representative Christian Morthy actually lobbying for Tucker Carlson, a member of the press, actually lobbying for his statements to be censored. A member of the government telling someone in the press, advocating for someone in the press to have their statement censored. And, and Dr. Fauci says I'm ranting when I talk about the First Amendment. For goodness sake, you've got a member of Congress in the government saying someone in the press should be denied their ability to speak that statement. They should be taken off of Facebook, taken down. This is how scary it's gotten. And the longer it goes, Dr. Fauci, the longer it goes, the scarier it's going to be for the liberties that we as American citizens have. And that has been my point the entire time. So I, I, I wish the gentleman were still here, but I cannot believe what I heard. 
where a member of Congress is saying and asking you all a question, and you all won't give the right answer, which is, of course, his statement shouldn't come down. It would have been easy to say, Dr. Fauci, if you actually cared about the First Amendment. Of course, his, I disagree with his statement. I know you do. Uh, I, I don't know that I disagree with everything he said because he just was put in context when you get the whole context. But you disagreed with this statement, but you should have said he can say what he wants, shouldn't be taken down. I just respectfully disagree. Right. I yield back to the gentlelady so, from New York. The gentleman with time. Yeah, Mr. Right. Chairman, could I just, to, to clarify yeah. it, uh, Congressman Jordan, I definitely think he has the right to say whatever he wants to say. Well, he was talking about uh, uh, things that I think are legal or not legal about taking things down. Why don't we just make it so that you understand very clearly that I think that Tucker Carlson can say whatever he wants to say. It's freedom of speech. Well, God, God bless you. I appreciate it. Well, you know, uh, I would just say, uh, Mr. Jordan, that um, there's something about this country that uh, we pay entertainers very well. I um, don't care about how much money they make, but I want them to be recognized as entertainers. Tucker Carlson is a member Tucker of the Carlson, media. He's a member of the press. Tucker Carlson, in my not so humble opinion, is an entertainer. And with that, I'll give five minutes uh, to the Ms. Waters. Thank you so very much, Mr. Chairman. Uh, again, Dr. Fauci, I'd like to thank you for your courage and your intelligence.